scouting on the streets of Moscow. Igor is on a mission to find new models, but unlike most agencies, he's targeting pensioners. First, I look at the face. It should be charismatic and interesting. There should be something given to the person by nature and their parents, and something else. The beauty he or she was able to carry through life. Igor now has a dozen elderly models on his books, found in the supermarket and on a dance floor, as well as on the street. Olga was the website's first model. Before retirement, she was a wildlife researcher and took part in zoological expeditions. Now she's modeling for a glossy magazine. At first I was thinking, how can I do it? I'm a 70-year-old lady. But then you get dressed, they put makeup on you, and it turns out very beautiful. And then there is something inside me that I want to give to people. The work gives Olga some extra money as well. The average pension in Russia is only around $200 a month. Nearly a quarter of the country's population is over retirement age. When children and teenagers see older people on magazine covers, they won't be afraid of old age and they'll respect their parents more and understand that age is beautiful. The work has certainly given Olga a new lease of life. And she and her fellow models hope to be trendsetters for all the oldies looking to escape the grandchildren, at least for a while.